सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो फाइनली जे इज अराउंड द कॉर्नर एंड वन ऑफ द क्वेश्चन विच इज देयर इन फ्रंट ऑफ एवरी एक्सपीरियंट इज दैट वन वीक टू गो वॉट टू डू एंड वॉट नॉट टू डू बेस्ड ऑन माई एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ इंटरेक्शन विथ थाउजेंड्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन लास्ट फ्यू ईयर्स आई वुड सजेस्ट यू फॉलोइंग पॉइंट्स यू शुड फोकस ऑन रिव्यू रिवाइज रिकॉल रिमेंबर एंड रिप्रोड्यूस एंड वेन आई से रिप्रोड्यूस वट आई एक्चुअली मीन टू से इज दैट यू शुड फोकस ऑन प्रोड्यूसिंग आउटपुट try to do as many questions as possible under the time pressure another thing which you should keep and keep in your mind is that you should get used to exam tension and pressure and last but not the least you have to in the last one week you have to be mentally prepared you have to prepare yourself mentally for the big battle because battles are fought and won in the mind not in the field so one week to go it is advised that in the last one week you should at least appear in two to three mock tests now when you when when you are appearing in these mock tests one thing which you should keep in your mind is that you should appear in these mock tests at exactly the same timing when the actual examination is to be so if j is if j is from 11 to 2 you should write these mock tests this would set your body clock to give peak performance during that time from 11 to 2 another important thing which you should keep in mind is that when you when you are through with your test you should thoroughly analyze the test that means post test analysis is very important but now we are only one week away from the examination so we will analyze these tests from a different perspective that means that we will not see that what is that we know or what is that we do not know what is that we need to learn more but we will focus on questions which we attempted wrongly so if you attempted 10 questions wrongly it is advised that you should attempt those questions again after the examination and it out of if out of those 10 questions if you could attempt even 3 to 4 questions correctly after the examination that is a big opportunity those four questions will give you rock solid marks plus the marks which you lost because of negative marking and you lost these marks just because of some silly mistakes because you actually knew those questions and that's why you could solve them after the examination another thing which you should analyze very thoroughly is that questions which you could not attempt so if you could not attempt 15 questions because of scarcity of time it is advised that after the test you should again attempt those 15 questions and when you attempt these 15 questions again after the test you will, if you are able to attempt say seven eight questions and you if you identify that out of these seven eight questions which you could attempt after the examination there were four questions which were very easy but probably you could not attempt them because you could not reach them that means the selection of question was not the selection of question when you were writing the test was not proper you could not identify the easy questions and you probably you got stuck somewhere in a difficult question you lost your time and you missed some of the easy questions these are some of the things which you should keep in your mind when you are doing post test analysis so if out of 7 days on day 7 6 and 5 or 4 you attempt two or three mock tests coupled with post test analysis in the last two to three days before the examination you should focus on preparing yourself mentally so what is that you should do you can paste the photographs of your family paste lot of positive messages on your study table paste the photographs of, along with your family where, when you are being hugged when you are being happy if you have won some trophies in the past place those trophies in front of your table believe me it gives you strength it prepares you internally do not study too much do not stress yourself too much have a relaxed schedule just focus on little bit revision little bit practice do not discuss the subject your preparation with your friends do not do anything which leads to anxiety and yes last but not the least focus on your mental preparation last piece of advice friends and this is the mistake which most of the students do remember your success and failure is dependent upon what you know and not dependent upon what you do not know most of the aspirants keep on running keep on running on what they do not know and fail to consolidate what they know so the last one week before the examination we should not try doing anything new in fact we should try to consolidate whatever we have done or whatever we have prepared in the last one year thank you thanks a lot all the best and uh, see you again